Okay guys, welcome back. Right, yep, so we're having a little bit of an unboxing guys. As I mentioned, if there's something crazy, something nice that I like, I will get it. And you know me guys, I love the limited edition um, shells that they bring out. So I like them anyway, but when it's got a funky colour scheme, or it's chrome, that kind of adds to it. So okay, that's all packed, pretty cool. Ooh, you don't see modern shells in small cases anymore. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is what all the hacks about, guys. So I know, the, I know other people have had it. I've been wanting to make this video for three weeks now. I've just been too busy, guys. Um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with these chrome babies, guys. Chromes are just beautiful. So, right, there's no book with it. You see, with the Skyline, there was a book. So here we've got this, the Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec R33. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm a bit surprised at that because when they brought out the blue um, R34 there was like a little book with it as well, um, but yeah. Okay, so this is obviously for all-wheel drive cars. Okay, look at that beauty. It's quite similar to the Audi R8 that they brought out in polished aluminum. Uh, aluminium <laughs> so right this is one of 2500 love them rare beauties guys and more and more companies are doing this now so this is the 20th anniversary uh, one that they brought out okay and they've been making mini Z's since 2002 so yep we're gonna see that on the display stand guys there's some more beauties that are coming uh, that are, there's some chrome ones some different ones uh, that are on here and what I'm gonna try and do guys is um, I've got loads that never made it onto the stand, so some of my old Mini Z's never got on the stand, never really got a good showing, so I'm going to put them in with some of these cars that are getting unboxed as well, and they're all the cars, well majority of the cars are going to be limited edition. Okay, so let's get started, let's check out this little bad boy on the display stand. Okay guys, so here we've got the Nissan Skyline GT-R V-Spec R33. And this is in silver chrome, or chrome silver, and it's looking kind of amazing. 2,500 made guys, and Mini Z started in 2002, so this is a 20 year anniversary for Mini Z's. Okay, so, yeah, love that guys. Just that chrome on Mini Z just looks mad, looks beautiful. So, basically the R33 guys is like the ninth generation. Um, and it was released in 1993. It was available as a coupe and a sedan with both body configurations. And what's interesting is guys, to celebrate the 40th anniversary, Nissan introduced a very rare four-door GTR in two versions. They brought out a limited, edition, a limited edition model in 1996 called the Nismo 400R. That produced 400 horsepower. All right, and that was from a, a road-tuned version of Nissan's Le Mans engine. A stronger six-speed get, Getrag gearbox was used. And the R33 was driven by Dirk Schaumsman, and he lapped the Norse life in less than eight minutes. The Skyline GTR R33 was reported to be the first production car to break eight minutes at seven minutes and 59 seconds. So the R33 saw huge favour in the tuning world and it became a popular model on the Wangan and top tuning companies building heavily tuned versions. So even though guys the R32 was like a proven build yeah, um, but it had some flaws so the R33 was made to obviously improve upon that. So they increased the width by about an inch on the R33 and uh, it was about 4 inches longer. Than the, so than the R32. So it had a bit of a longer wheelbase and a lower stance. And so basically the R33 was intended to give the car ultimate aerodynamics with wider gaps in the bumper and angles of air movement which allowed better cooling. In addition to the fuel tank being lifted, the battery moved to the trunk and rigidity points were added mixed with improvements on the Atessa high cast. All now offered the R33 the best aerodynamics balance and handling. Nissan engineers also found other ways to reduce weight even by a few grams so what they did is they hollowed out the sides of doors, beams, they used a high tensile steel on body panels 
and they, they kind of reduced sound deadly materials as well and they made light aluminium wheels with high rigidity the front and rear axles were made out of aluminium um, so, but so were the engine mount insulators and brackets and new plastics were used for the fuel tank, headlamps super high strength PP bumpers heading materials, changing materials so basically they did a whole heap of stuff guys to make this car lighter to obviously power to weight ratio to improve, improve the performance on it the R33 was, was, saw victory in the JGTC the GT500 dominating the class and taking victory each year. Should we get a black background behind that, guys? Let's just have a look at it with a black background, see if it brings it out a little bit more. Okay. Mm, could be bringing it out more. Let's have a look. Okay, a lot of interesting information, but yeah, you know what, guys? I don't really see much of them. In the UK, I haven't really come across many R33s. R34s are obviously a lot more popular uh, in the UK. That's what I've seen anyway. And uh, R35s. Um, but yeah, that definitely is different. The front end of that car is just, wow. It, it looks different. It's just got, it looks like it's got a body kit built onto it, but that's stock. So pretty cool, pretty crazy. And the fact that it's like a different, it's a different front end compared to the R32 and the R34 and you know it's just got its own kind of look to it and, that, and them well price wise guys it's gone crazy man it's gone absolutely mad there was a time you could pick them up for about 10 grand right those guys importing stuff into the UK and they were able to get R34s not as many R33s but they get R32s and they're getting them for about 10 grand and now it's well it's gone to about 50 grand 55 grand it's gone mad so yeah whoever held on to these babies is sat in a cash cow because yo their, their prices aren't going to drop they're just going to get better and the tuning ability on these cars guys is crazy why because yo they're like future proof till this day look at vids in america it's the supras that are smashing it the skylines are still smashing it on street races and even on the on the raceways so yeah definitely uh classics but definitely machines when they came out they would they were smashing all of the R34 was just smashing every race that it was going into. You get it? So performance-wise, guys, absolutely amazing. And the fact it's an all-wheel drive car, and Kyosho brought it out as all-wheel drive, that is kind of amazing, isn't it, guys? So I like that factor. Yeah, pretty cool. Not one that I'm going to drive, not one that's going to see the track, but definitely one for the collection, isn't it, guys? So let me know what you think. And do it look better in black? Maybe it's better in white. <laughs> so, yeah. So... Stay tuned guys, because there'll be many more coming up. There's another Chrome, might be one or two more Chromes, and some from the vault, the archives, and then we've got some little beauties that have been released recently. That I'm not gonna get into too crazy, but GL Racing have brought out some new ones and I've got quite a few of them, so we'll show them, show some of the beauties from the past that haven't been on the stand, and yeah, and, and unbox some more Minizies as well guys, so yeah. Okay, stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Mossy5734, guys, and be ready.